Learning by faith does not come without burden and sacrifice. Teachers and students are expected to act in accordance with their faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. These actions include diligent effort and preparation, reflection and prayer, and maintaining a proper attitude toward learning. When learners and teachers exercise agency by acting in accordance with correct principles, they open their hearts to the Holy Ghost and invite His teaching, thereby assessing the power of the Savior's atonement. You will have five minutes and 31 seconds to complete this test. It's on your honor. Good luck. Here at BYU Idaho, we have high standards. If you decide to lower those standards to the level of cheating, you are only setting yourself up for failure. There are no benefits to cheating. You have to act for yourself and take responsibility for your actions. Whoa, that's a cool thing I want to try. a positive influence on others. How can you be a leader? An easy way to be a leader is through being a good example. Through action, uh, actions and words, others will see what you promote. Why should you be a leader? People are constantly walking or watching you. Act in a way that will make them feel good and promote good living. But why not just follow others? We should not follow others who are uh, choosing the wrong and then we know it. It's not it's not a bad thing to stand out. Hey, why, why didn't you go to class? Public speaking over yeah. Mario, over my dead body. That's boring. Dude, man, you're going to fail this class. It's the best class there is. Man, that was a freaking good study. You're still here? You could have come and studied with us and gotten a better grade on the test. Dude, is it really worth your time? What's more important, Mario or studying? Uh, studying is one of the most basic and fundamental things you can do, yet it helps us out so much. Marion G. Romney said, I believe in study. I believe that men learn much through study. As a matter of fact, it has been my observation that they learn little concerning things as they are, as they were, or as they are to come without study. I also believe, however, and know that learning by study is greatly accelerated by faith. You see, study is an act of faith requiring the use of personal agency. While learning from a good teacher is very important, it is more important for you to have meaningful learning experiences on your own. This is a learning experience, but is it meaningful? I don't think so. Acting on what you have learned will bring added and enduring understanding. Dude, man. Shut up! Sweet.
the Doctrine and Covenants 58, 26 through 28, it says, For behold, it is not me that I should command you in all things. For he that is compelled in all things, the same is not a wise servant. Wherefore, he receiveth no reward. Verily I say, men should be anxiously engaged in a good cause, and do many things of their own free will, and bring to pass much righteousness. For the power is in them, wherein they are agents unto themselves. And inasmuch as men do good, they shall in no wise lose their reward. Man, I love Sprite. It's so good. It's pretty, pretty good. time in this movie. Honesty and integrity is key to our learning here at BYU Idaho. The more effort we put into our learning, the more integrity we have, the better people we become physically, spiritually, mentally, emotionally. Well, it's important to be a good example and let others know that you believe in par principle four, being responsible for your own self, but also help others. <laughs> <laughs> and another thing, be careful who you learn from. Because who you learn from might teach you bad principles, so you might be learning the wrong thing. Learners and teachers at BYU-Idaho act for themselves and accept responsibility for learning and teaching. Honesty and integrity. When we are honest and we have integrity, we achieve the highest education possible here at BYU-Idaho. When we are honest in our work, we not only grow mentally, but spiritually. Always show that you take the blessing of this university seriously through your actions, words, and thoughts. Make, the res make this a responsibility in your life. This hand I got my heart today. So what does this all mean? It means that it's all up to you. It's all on your shoulders to expect your responsibility and do your best. And if you fail a class, whose fault is it? None other than yourself. So don't cheat. And be a good example. And listen to Principle 4, along with all the other pillars of the BYU-Idaho learning model. I'm Brandon Keck. Chris Reed. Bubba Anderson. And we're the Fantastic Four. 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 Four! Word. Robert's not here. There's Robert. In the wheelchair. Oh. He got hurt. I approve this message. Oh, yeah.